So here we have the exterior of the Vladimir Palace. We just went through it. It's right here on the river, riverfront. And it's, although it's, it's a lot nicer than some of the other buildings through here, it's not overly distinguishable. Everything is so fancy, all the buildings on the exterior. There are over 300 palaces here, and obviously I guess all of them can't be maintained as tourist attractions, so on and so on, and they are very plentiful. This used to be uh, the palace of one of the dukes, I think she said, and is now the Institute for Asian Studies. So a lot of these buildings are being used for other purposes. This is the Vladimir Roman runoff, Romanov Palace. has lots of original things and we may call the condition of this palace unique, very good. Of the 19th century, a hundred of this is a reception area, and it was restored in 1950. The house was built in 18, from 1857 to 1864. We have a Russian curator and our guide who's translating. The balcony is the largest one along the river here. Quite a view. With gargoyles. What is this room used for? This is a portrait of Maria Pavlovna, the owner of the house. This is a young girl who came to Russia as a slave to marry the great Dvorak Alhambra. This is a Moorish room. It reminds the interior of the Granada. Вы видите вот интересные двери раздвижные, вы помните? Folding doors are made from South African palisade. У нас сказано священные книги Корана, наверху можно прочесть на Богу, кроме Бога Аллаха. Above is is a saying from Koran, there's no god more important than Allah. И с правой стороны вы видите здесь потайную дверь, за ней винтовая стальная лестница. Hidden door, and behind is a, a, a spiral He's stairs. A hidden door. Secret spiral stairs. You can see the gold dome there out across the river of the uh, Peter and Paul Cathedral. The portrait this of the girl is the only daughter of this is uh, painted to look like it's three-dimensional, but it's not. It's flat, but it definitely does look very three-dimensional. This is the bedroom chamber. Originally, there would have been a bed in here, of course. There's a little fireplace in the corner. This is where the bed would have been. These panels are also uh, flat, but they look three-dimensional. One of them was Albert Stockard. This is the little courtyard, I guess. This is the, of course, the palace continues around. This is the winter garden room. Is a, another fountain here to the right has a mythological sea creature or monster. Mm -hmm. uh, here the relief, the bus relief is the daughter, Elena, at the age of 12. The archers uh, have monograms of Vladimir. The furniture was a gift from the Swedish king Gustav. A replica of the 16th century. Yeah, this is... 
called the White Dining Room, but it obviously is a theater as well. I think the chairs they've added. But in the front of the room is a stage. Oh, so originally it was a ballroom, and then it was converted to a theater. There was a bell. There used to be an open bell, like a terrace, for musicians. And this was for musicians back here. Balls were held here typically twice a month. They had balls here. Balls here twice a month. In the winter. This is Miss State Farm. This is the dining room, and the Duke would invite people after the theater or plays there in the room we just saw to come to this room for typical Russian cuisine. Under, under the ceiling, you can see the double-headed eagles, the coat of arms of the big court. Here you can see out into the court again, and there's the garden room we were just in. There's another building where about a hundred servants stayed. Another staircase. Yeah, this is the bronze gilded it's the blonde, bronze, bronze gilded staircase that connects the dining room to the upstairs. Crimson velvet, uh, original. The original crimson velvet and the crimson dining room used to have the same upholstery on the wall. Uh, after the death of the this was the dining room, these big swinging doors that don't cover the whole opening. After his death, the wife changed the woods. And here, here you can see uh, some attributes of masons on the wood carvings. It's attributes of Masons. We asked about the Masons, but she didn't have really any answers. Here again we've got views of the river. When foreign residents come here, visiting the palace, It's the riverfront right outside the Vladimir Palace, which we just went through. You can see all the fancy buildings right here along the along the riverfront. I'm not sure what that one is. This is my little English-speaking girlfriend, state farm agent. 